three no more. Number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Today I'm going to talk to you about a vacation I took to Cancun in 2003. A lot of people like to go to Cancun that are young. They like to go party and drink and forget about everything that's normal in life and enjoy themselves. Now, I went to the Playa del Carmen with my friend and his mother. And of course you might be wondering where Playa del Carmen is and why I'm talking about Cancun. So where it's located, right here, if you look here, Playa del Carmen is right here in Costco, it's right across the ferry from it, right across the Caribbean Sea from it. So on my trip, I was my first time ever been on an airplane. And I got to have a nice window seat and look out the wonderful, well since we were going over the ocean, all I saw was sky and ocean. So it wasn't really scenic. When, you, when we were going out of the Gulf, it was scenic to hit the Gulf of Mexico. When we were coming in, it was real cool looking at the uh, aerial view we had at the uh, on top of the trees going across. Now landing, we landed in Cancun, probably about night and day different from Bush Airport. It was so small, that airport. You just walked like, whoa, this is an airport. It was hot as could be in there. There were people everywhere. Now, I was worried about going through customs. And it was very easy. You just basically walked in, you stood in line for about 45 minutes, and it just let you walk on in the country. It was very easy to get in there. And this is one of the views that you see coming in the airplane over uh, Cancun on the way in. Now, we sat at a hotel called the Reef Player Car. There were several activities you could do at the hotel from there. Was there was actually a bar inside the pool. So they encourage you to drink and swim at the thing. And it was all all inclusive resort, everything's included. They had activities you could do all day. They had dances at night. They had cultural things you could attend to and several little things you could do. So there's the uh, there's a picture of the bar actually. And on one of those um stains on the right hand side there, one of those uh seats, I ended up sleeping there one night because me and my buddy got too drunk and uh, mom would not let us sleep in the room. So the punishment we didn't sleep by the pool. So those bar those where we slept for one of the nights we were there. Now the, uh, the hotel was right at the beach. Actually, you could walk right up to the beach from about 50 feet from your hotel room, actually. It was, it was very cool. You just walk out your room, walk on down, and boom, you're on the beach. You know, it was very neat. So there's an actual picture of the beach and from where the hotel is on the beach. And actually, there's a little, there's a main hotel, there's a little shacks out towards the beach that you can actually stay in. Now you can also, um, the water there is awesome. It's very, very, you can see through it very well. You just look down, you can see all the fish swimming in there. It's not like the water here where you can't see nothing, you're terrified to get into it. Now we have several plans to um, you know, go scuba diving and jet skiing and things like that out in the water. Now the town we went and ate um, at this little Mexican restaurant down there. After we, it was a short distance from the hotel, we just walked, it was like half a mile to walk. And you see there's some light things to see what it looks like. Now there are big, big difference from how it is here how it is. And we had to be very cautious when we were walking around to make sure no one around us. And we did a little bit of shopping while we were down there as well. Now we were, had all these other plans. So this was the second day we were there shopping. Scuba diving was the next thing. And so we have these plans. But of course we need plans. Um, things get canceled. And uh, things happen. Such as Hurricane Claudette happens. And we actually had no idea the hurricane was coming. Until some people traveling in from America told us, hey, there's a hurricane coming. And we turn on the news stations there, of course, they're all in Spanish. And they don't mention a word about the hurricane. You had no clue it's coming. Like, they don't even care. Like, it's no big deal. It's going to come. It's going to come. You know, no big deal. So we had to get a new flight out. We had to make a phone call, leave several times early. But when we came home, the hurricane actually ended up hitting right in Texas. And so it just followed us all back. All back. And it was really neat because when we landed at the airport, the news was there filming. And they actually recorded us. And we actually were on the news for actually that night. I looked all over for the video clip. I couldn't find the video clip anywhere. In conclusion, it was a very, we had a very fun trip planned. Things that worked out quite right. But we had a good time when we were there. Got to do lots of neat things we've never done before. And we always got to see a nice sunset just like this.